All right, so we're doing this little demonstration to uh, demonstrate how the console cable switch works. And uh, as you can see here, first thing, of course, what you do is you, you plug in your USB to serial connector to your console connector there. And then on the back of here, what you do is you're going to take this on your in and out port. You plug your, your console cable there, and then you just plug a uh, straight through cable on on the rest of your, on any of the other ports you want to control your equipment with so and then you can see over here that we have our straight through cable is just plugged straight into each of the console ports okay and then I just did this with two just to make this less confusing as far as the video goes so I'm just using two pieces of equipment we have a uh, switch and an ASA here and then on the switch you can see that we have a pin going there on, on Bravo and then on Alpha we have a ASA going so what we're gonna do is start a continuous ping on our switch so let's do a ping IP Nine two ten. Target address. Let's do a, do a repeat of like a million. We're just gonna keep it running. Uh, I forgot how many zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Ten millions. Whatever. All right. And all right. So there goes our t continuous ping. Then. And switch over to the ASA. Then on ASA, what I'm gonna do is a show tech just so that you can see that it's different, that it's uh, a different display going. And as you know, with a show tech, we have to keep hitting the space bar to get more. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna hold the space bar down so that we can have a num, have it running for a while. And then as and as we switch back and forth. You can see that you're getting to different de each device. There's your pings. There's your show tech going. There's your pings. There's your show tech going. So as you can see, it you can easily switch back and forth to control whatever device you want to do instead of you know plugging and replugging and then. The other advantage you have with the switch is that you can actually use a cable up to 150 meters and run that to a different, you know, uh, location in your data center or, or your work center, and then you can control that from each of the each of the points. So our ASA had stopped. That's why you see. I mean, our uh, show tech had stopped, but we can run it. We can run it again, and then let's hold down this uh, space bar so that we can keep it going. But as you can see, um, it works just it works seamlessly and saves you from one replugging a bunch of stuff, which is you know one thing. But two, it stops you from having to walk from one end of the data center to the other just to see, uh, you know, to to run your diagnostics or or uh, do quick adjustments to uh, different things without having to either carry your push or crash card over there or carry your laptop or use two different laptops in each location so that that saves you it to me it's it saved me a lot of times for years and years and years I've been replugging and running back and forth and and doing all those things but this device saves so much time that now that I use it, I won't go anywhere without it. It it just hands down one of the best time savers in the world for me. And we're back to the show tech is done. So as you can see, we, we can um, go back. But this is just a quick demonstration of um, how the console cable switch it operates. And you want to pick up one of these, you want to uh, go to k-ssolutions.com 
So just to tell you a little bit more about the switch, we could talk about, um, first of all, it's, it's metal construction, so, you know, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, you're talking, you can get 100,000 switches between, between the, uh, the buttons here. Uh, the other good thing about it is that, here, let me pull these out. One of the greatest things I like about it is that no power required. There is no power plug whatsoever while using this switch. As you can see, it's small and light and very portable. So it's easy enough to sit, throw in your your little uh, your little tool bag or your little go bag, your little gig bag, and then um, and it, and it's. And it's great to use so I have to say I love I love the construction of it look you plug it right back in and it starts working instantly and then as you can see we still have uh, the show tech going but um yeah I just love this device I, I can't tell you how happy I am with the way this thing turned out so uh, thanks again, like and subscribe, and uh, have a good one.